Hey guys, it's Tuesday and you know what that means. It is Two Minute Tuesday. I'm gonna skip any intro and we're gonna get started right now. There's a buzzword in the church called revival. Revival is an outpouring of God's spirit in such a way that it's almost like it's unseen in a generation. There's a story of Evan Roberts in the Welsh Revival. In nine months, 100,000 people came to Jesus. It didn't just happen in the church, it seeped out into society. Bars were closing down because people stopped going to bars. Uh, crime drastically reduced. But let me tell you what revival isn't and what the church has made it. A revival weekend, a revival camp. Can I tell you what revival is? Is not something you can plan out for a weekend. God was actually pouring out His Spirit, you wouldn't want it to stop at the end of the weekend. How can we be a precursor revival? When we pray for revival, we ask God to pour out His Spirit because it's His plan. At Joel 2.28, I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. That's what God says. But number two is when we let the Holy Spirit lead. When we let the Holy Spirit do what He wants to do. Not just for five minutes, not just for the altar call. Our first hour of it, now Atlanta. Ten minutes into the service, the Holy Spirit says, I want you to do an altar call for those who are fatherless. And I said, okay, Lord, that's great. We'll do that afterwards. And the Holy Spirit said, no, I want you to do it now. And at that point, I was like, this can't be God. No, I, this, is, this isn't in my box. This isn't what I was thinking. And one of the guys on my team came up to me and he said, uh, the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you that he wants you to do an altar call right now. And I couldn't believe it. And at that moment, we did an altar call. About 10% of the room came down. Miracles started happening from that point on. There was such a tangible presence of God felt in the room and now has ever been marked with signs and miracles and wonders. And I believe it was because of a decision that happened 10 minutes into the service that says, God, we're going to trust you. We're going to go with where you want to go. Not how we, how we thought it was going to look, not how we wrote it in our agenda. So we're going to trust you. I believe that he wants to do this in your church, in your youth group, in your campus. But will you just let him have control? Because that's what revival is. I, I hope revival doesn't become a buzzword in your communities or in your circles or in your life. That it's something that you're experiencing. And guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope this blessed you. I hope it stirs your heart. And I hope you start to pray for an outpouring of God's Spirit. That you pray for revival in your life, in your campus, in your city, in your nation. Until the next Two Minute Tuesday. Talk to you later.